Good evening everyone, I'm Farzy, and we're playing, not playing a little bit of Rusted Warfare, but today I'm here to showcase a mod I've been working on called Metal Warfare. In this case, we are in the, I will show it to you in just a moment, the 0, 0.0, well technically it says 01, but we are actually in 0 0.011. I don't have any custom music yet, that's the plan, it's like the very last thing on my mind at the moment. But I do have some music that we're going to use because while technically the some of the stuff that the guy uses is technically public domain, I would rather avoid any trouble. So we're going to use, let's see, actually, you know, I had something I was going to use. We're just going to play some, we're just going to do the copyright free music I usually use when I'm playing. Probably not the best, but this is what I usually use, used to use for my streams. So, anyways. I'm going to showcase what this mod does. And we're going to play skirmish mode. So far, I've only got the basic factory or vehicle factory, as it's going to be later be called. And we have the mine, which kind of looks really derpy. Not going to lie. We have the snooper, which is a lightly armored scout car. Doesn't do a whole hell of a lot, but it's designed to scout around. Very low hit points, only at 30, which means it'll fold like a wet tissue paper if it gets into anything heavier than the lightest of engagements. But it's good for poking around the enemy base when they really don't want you to. We've also got a laser tire, which can has good HP, good armor, and it'll put a stop to most rushes. We've obviously got the factory. Hmm. I thought I fixed that. Might have to use the updated sprite. Anyway, if you're all curious, these sprites have been made by my by uh yeah myself. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, they've already got a laser tower up. I guess it only uses the green on the body. It doesn't use the green on the uh, base for the color. Anyway. So yeah, that's what the snooper's supposed to do. Then obviously we have three units. We have the constructor, obviously. We have the scourge, which is a hovercraft mounted self-propelled gun. Basically it's the this game's version of the artillery. It does 60 points of damage. It's actually not bad. It used to do a little bit more when I first started modding it, but I felt for balance reasons I had to come down and then we had some problems with it. So, yesterday I wound up changing that. Now, as you can see, we're just... I probably should stop poking around because... Oh, shit. See what I mean by these folding like a stack of wet tissue paper? Now... If I can get them to chase me, they're going to chase me right into that laser turret. Now, the second one ain't done yet, but that's okay. Now, watch. The laser turrets quickly put a stop to that nonsense. They're not going to be taking on tank after tank, but usually about two or three of them, i found is enough to put a stop to most early game rushes. Hammerhead quite the chance yet to test this version with a player. Hopefully that'll change here soon. But I did test the previous iteration, which there were some issues. The, believe it or not, the tank, the light tank, the pincer, used to move as fast as one of these scout cars, so <laughs> there was little point to actually having the thing, save for the fact that, well, the scout car was cheaper. Just got that problem. Okay, so we don't quite have enough refinery. All right, so we have the hound, which is I don't know what the hell that was. So we have the hound, which is a midweight tank. Now that one also got a little bit of a buff because it moved just as fast as a light tank, but fired a hell of a lot slower. It was basically just a meat shield at that point. Used to have a 3.5 second cooldown, now it only has a 2.5, which 
makes a huge difference for its intended role. That's basically your trooper. He's meant to get up in there, get up close and personal. And then we have the Scourge, which very much lives up to its name because it is nothing short of a nuisance. I might end up actually building a few less fencers and maybe a couple more snoopers. I need to keep the snoopers on hand just because they're mostly there to, well, obviously scout, try to stay in the enemy's field of vision. That's a scourge. Holy shit. But yeah. Those medium tanks are nasty. So that... I did, was originally using the light tank wreckage for the medium tank, which was kind of funny. Ooh. I can still see the bits of green there. I'll have to fix that later. Okay. This is the importance of having a laser tower because it'll put a stop to that nonsense like right then and there. Constructor drone takes a little bit of time to build, but that's just because I don't want full-on building rushes. Used to be when I first started making it, I didn't adjust the... What did you blow up? Oh. Usually when I first started out, I forgot to put the uh, build time on the laser tower. So that got interesting. Now, once the scourges get built, I tend to, I personally prefer to hold them in reserve until I get at least three or four built just because on its own, it's a damaging unit. But as you've seen, it folds like a wet tissue paper. It's basically what goes down. So, yeah. Now that right there is what it's supposed to do. Keep, you want to keep the Scourge well away from combat because it'll die. It's small, it's fast moving, but holy crap does it pay for that. I don't recommend going all hound just because it does not end well. Now, usually about three laser towers is enough to really ruin someone's day. Now, the AI usually builds about six per. I have it set up so it would build about six per base because I wasn't sure how well it would actually hold up. And usually the laser turret really can do some damage. Usually. Hmm. How'd that plan work out for you, dummy? Okay, I need to fix this right here. I thought I did, actually. Because that's supposed to be all red right there. Okay. Green group! This is ending a little bit sooner than I intended it to. I should have done a harder AI, but basically once you get your tanks churned out, it's pretty much over. Was well, going to demonstrate what the Scourge had done, but that base rush actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. 
Part of me really doesn't want to let the eye just sit there and build a little bit, but I figure screw it. Oh, they've already said so they've already got a scourge going. Now you watch. If left unchecked, even a lone scourge would do some bad damage. Very bad things. The trick is, you don't leave them unchecked. Uh oh. Right there is its intended role. The snooper. It's supposed to be able to run down light the scourge, whereas the light tank. Well, it's there to rush, but you're not going to be running these things down. Probably, oops, probably shouldn't hang around too long. I'm bringing some hounds. Let them do their jobs. Might change up the sprite size a little bit for that, but I think it looks good. Oh, uh, nope. Keep them away from the front lines. Scourges do not like the front lines. They like to be in the back. Kaboom. Now we'll go ahead and do this. I mean, as an artillery unit, they're kind of nice to have. They really are. High mobility artillery, folks. Oh, they got a shorter than normal sight line, so they have to have. Oh, hey, we won. Well, that didn't last too long. So, yeah, that was the Scourge Light Tank. Or not Scourge, the. It's still the. Uh... Metal Warfare mod. It still needs work. Not gonna lie, it still needs quite a bit of work. But, I think I've got a pretty decent thing going here. And I hope that you all take the time to check it out, even in this very rough shot state. Anyways, I'm Farzi, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.